Hi everyone, I am Chloe and I'm the Families Programmer for JW3, which is a vibrant and diverse arts and culture community centre that welcomes anyone and everyone. So welcome to Crafternoon. It's a very special one today because it's Purim! Yay! We are going to be making two crafts today. We're going to be making a noise maker and a Hamantaschen gift basket. So here's what you'll need for our first craft. A toilet roll tube, some sellotape, some glue, a piece of white paper, some pieces of coloured paper, some scissors, some colouring pens and pencils, and some pasta or some rice, something that's going to make noise. So let's get started. First things first, we're going to make a lid for either side of our toilet roll tube because we don't want our pasta falling out. So what we're going to do, we're going to take a pencil and we're going to draw around the circular bit of our toilet roll tube onto our piece of white paper. So we're going to do this twice. So now I have two circles on top of my piece of paper. What I'm now going to do is cut around the circle, leaving a little space. If you've got some sharp scissors, make sure you ask an adult to help you. So I've cut out one of my circles. I'm going to do it on the next one as well. Okay, so now I've got two circles cut out. They look like big googly eyes. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut little slits around the bigger circle going into the middle. So I'm going to do one, two, three, four. circles but with little slits on the outside so now what I'm going to do is I'm only going to put one on and it should line up with the circle that you've drawn so you just place it on the top and then using your sellotape you can stick down the slots like so. So cut some strips of sellotape make sure you've got enough stuck down two so far. Let's stick down the rest of the sides. You may notice that some sides haven't quite stuck down so you can always run one big piece of sellotape around the outside. Okay so now I've got a lid on one side of my tube. So next what I'm going to do is get my lovely colour piece of paper. So I've got pink, orange, yellow and purple here and I'm going to cut some strips from the top. And I'm actually going to cut them all together so I know they're all going to be the same length. So let's cut some strips. Okay, so now I've got my lovely colourful strips and I'm going to decorate my tube. I'm just going to stick them in a line. So get your print stick out and make sure your tube is nice and covered in some colourful paper. Sure it's nice and stuck so there's our first colour. Let's do the next one. Stick that onto the pink and wrap it around. Next colour. Wrap it around. I'm going to take my last colour, purple, and stick it on the bottom. Now we have a nice colourful stripy noise maker. Now what we need to do, turn it upside down and fill it with pasta. So I've just used this kind of pasta, just penne, you can use rice, you can use sequins, you can use anything you want, anything that's going to make noise. So let's put your pieces in there. Okay. And now we're going to make the lid again. So take your second circle and you're just going to do exactly the same thing. So fit it on the top and stick it down with cellar tape. So 
It's a little bit fiddly, so if you need my dog to help you, you can have one. I'm just gonna get a bit more sellotape on mine. Okay, and there we go. Now we have our Purim noisemaker, and if we hear the name of Heyman, there we go. So for our second craft, you will need one piece of brown paper, some tissue paper, some sellotape, some scissors, some coloured pens and pencils, and some sweeties. Okay, let's get started. So, with your brown piece of paper, you're going to make a circle. So draw a big circle and then cut it out. If you've got a compass, this is a really good time to use it to make sure that circle is perfect. I'm going to draw my freehand because I don't have a compass. Okay, now I'm going to cut out my circle. Okay, so now we've got a big brown circle and to make our special ham and tashin gift basket, we are going to fold our circle in three times and we're going to make sure the points close together. So we're going to fold it once, like this, another time, like this, and then we're going to fold the bottom up. So you should have something that looks a bit like a hum and tushin. Now we're going to take our bits of sellotape and you're going to take the sides of the hum and tushin together like this. So we've got one side up like that. Another side and then you're going to stick your third side together. So now we've stuck all the sides together, it's nice and 3D so you've got a little bit of space in the middle to put some treats. On the outside, I'm going to take some of my coloured pencils and I'm going to put some sprinkles because I like sprinkles on my hand touching. So I've got red and purple and green. So let's put some sprinkles. Now I've got a lovely sprinkled ham and tushin. So now we're gonna decorate the inside. So we're gonna get some tissue paper. Mine's quite big, so I'm gonna cut mine in half. And I've got a nice piece of tissue paper and I'm gonna put it inside of my ham and tushin. So it's got a nice little lining and now I'm going to put my sweets in. You can put anything you want inside, you can put jelly beans or celebrations or some fruit maybe and here we go. A ham and tushin gift basket to give to someone on Purim. There we go, I hope you enjoyed it. Happy crafting everyone and happy Purim. Bye!